Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today is a drill with me. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I keep doing that. I don't know why I do that. So we're going to do a drill with me, and I am now on the second row of uh, my Egyptian queen, and I'm right here where the very first leopard is on the left-hand side. Um, let's see if I got the picture where the the leopard is right there this leopard and if you guys can see it oh it's a little bright but I'm sorry on this leopard that I'm on his head so we're gonna start that and we're just gonna chat talk what have you so I hope everyone had a good week last week. My week, oh my god, my poor child. You know, well, I, as I told you guys last week, Justin was sick on Monday, and um, he was fine. He went back to school on Tuesday. Poor Sky he ended up being home for the whole week except for Friday and he kept complaining that his throat and head hurt he had a slight fever so I ended up taking him to the doctor and <clears throat> they treated him for the flu even though it wasn't I guess a real bad case I don't know what I, don't ask me and uh, so he you know stayed home almost the whole week except for Friday he was even home on his birthday poor thing he just did not he just was not a happy camper and he, uh, <clears throat> and I could tell because when I came in on Wednesday to tell him a happy, happy birthday, he just looked at me like, uh, okay, thank you, and rolled over and went back to bed. So, yeah, I knew he didn't feel good. And, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, he stayed home. And of course he acted fine. And then it you know, it was like, okay. But um even though he acted fine, he still had a fever. So I just, you know, ended up keeping him home. And finally, you know, <laughs> this kid gets up at five o'clock on Friday morning, ready to go. I mean, he was up before me. I get up every morning at six o'clock except on the weekend to get um, <clears throat> Justin up and get him out the door and uh, yeah he was up because I rolled over at like 530 quarter to six and he's laying on the bed laying up here on the bed with me which I didn't even know he came in here and he was dressed and I said dude what are you doing up he says, I feel better. I was like, okay. He says, I'm, can I go to school? And I was like, sure. Whatever. So he went to school. And uh, I asked him, I said, um, so you feel better? He's like, yeah. I said, is that why you're up so early? Yeah. I wanted to get up. Okay. So I didn't. I didn't make a big deal about that so he was up and ready to go and at the door and of course you know his dad was freaking out about you know he thought that he wanted Skylar to be checked for the coronavirus and look I get it okay I've been watching the news just like everybody else I know what's going on and 
he and I had to go go back and forth between you know about that and you know after even after I told him that you know it was the flu and uh, <clears throat> he didn't want to believe me he wanted to argue with me about it and told me that I was a bad mom because I didn't take this whole coronavirus thing seriously really come on now seriously so Friday when he went back to school I called his father and I told his father I said dude he's in school he's been up since five o'clock this morning and he's fine he's at school he's fine no fever nothing well, <clears throat> he tried to assert his, I don't know what you want to call it, his control over the situation. And I wouldn't let him. I said, no. Mm -mm. And it just ended up, you know, being basically a difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. And, um, so, but then this morning, you know, Sky comes out again, tells me his head hurts again. And, you know, even he didn't have a fever. So I said, you know what? You're going to school. Let's see what happens. And I said, if you get, you know, worse, just have, um, just tell your teacher and she can send you down to the nurse well he was like okay and you know he just didn't want to go plain and simple all that 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 was to that so he's he's not happy and you all are gonna hear background noise I don't know what it is I'm trying to figure that out they want to be loud they pick the craziest times in the morning to do stuff is the maintenance people outside. I don't know who it is, but they pick the weirdest times. So, and I'm going to try something. I was going to do it today, but I'm going to kind of wait um, <clears throat> and try using multiple trays I'm gonna try it later today or actually tomorrow and see cuz I've been asking I asked everybody last night yesterday on my live if you know how many people use multiple trays and I kinda of feel weird because you know I've never done that and I have multiple trays in a, in a ziplock bag over here I've just never used them because I just didn't really, you know, think that was for me. But I'm going to try it and see what happens. If I don't do it for this one, I'll do it for my next one because I have a feeling the next one's going to be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, confetti crazy, which is fine. Don't, don't get me wrong, but it'll be a whole lot easier than having to, uh, dump my tray every so often I mean I don't do it now only reason I know only reason that it's that I'm that I thought about it is because this this like row right this whole entire section here all the way down is going to be confetti so I can see that it's going to be confetti but um the rest of it I don't know I'll see. I mean, if I decide to do it now, it'll be interesting. We'll see. Let's, I don't know. I've never tried it. Everybody tells me it's a whole lot easier. So, we'll see. Um, Of course, now I'm feeling I've got a cold, 
after Sky goes to school. I, oh my God. I could feel it coming on Friday. And I was like, uh. So I took some medicine Friday night and woke up Saturday morning feeling like doo doo. I mean, literally, I felt like poopy. And <clears throat> I uh, was chatting with, you know, some of my friends, and I just, I was just like, really? And I mean, they had, they could tell I didn't feel good, and I just had to cut the whole chat short because I was like, I can't. I can't do this. So I ended up, you know, going out into the living room and I took some more medicine and then I um just relaxed and then I went to bed. I was in bed early. <clears throat> and went to bed cuz yeah, it was just kind of like ugh, I just didn't feel good at all whatsoever I was just like ugh. And of course you know your kids except for sky your kids take it upon herself and I you know and it's funny and here I am I'm going all over the place it's funny because you know Tuesday I knew I started feeling weird I just couldn't figure out what was wrong and my throat started bothering me and I thought well you know this this has always been you know, an off and on thing. And I thought, well, okay. So I uh and I think the you know, I think children have this like mental telepathy thing to know when you're when you're when the parent doesn't feel well. Okay. I really do. And <clears throat> The reason I say that is Justin and I have been kind of, we have this, usually we're good about getting along, okay? Well, I got so irritated the other night with them, or with him actually. And I don't even know how to describe this. I'd had enough. So, and I was snapping at everybody. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to have a little come to Jesus meeting with the whole entire family. You know, the three kids and I are going to sit down and we're going to just, you know. And I let it go. I told them about themselves. Well, Miranda got a little, you know, upset and really, there, I don't know why that didn't want to come off my pen. And I was like, you know what, I've taught my children. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure, sorry, I took a break there. I'm trying to figure out how to, to, to explain this without, you know, getting off track here. I've taught my all of my children how to do chores and to clean up after themselves, clean their room, and all that junk. And, you know, I get it. When you're a teenager, you don't want to do that. You feel like, okay, your mom takes care of you. You don't have to worry about doing that because you know your mom will do it for you. Well, Justin's been taking advantage of the situation. I don't know what, you know, what the issue is. Anyway, well, I got the room cleaned up to a point that 
you know, Skylar could get off the couch, sleep off, you know, stop sleeping on the couch and come and sleep in his bed. So the first night, um, of course, you know, last week he didn't really sleep on the couch. He kind of slept with me because you know how kids are. They want to, they, when they're sick, they want to be close to their mommy. So, you know, he slept. Actually, we both slept out in the living room. And um, so Justin makes a big deal about it because he thought that Skylar was just, you know, being a big uh, baby, I guess. I don't know how else to describe this at all whatsoever. And uh, so he came in and he says, uh, Mom, I said, what? He says, uh, I fixed the, I cleaned the room. I said, I know this. And he says, well, why isn't Sky sleeping in here? And so, you know, I told him, I said, well, apparently there's two reasons. I said, the first reason is because <clears throat> you know how you kids were when you were sick, you, well, want to be, you know, stuck up mommy's butt. Yeah. And I said, well, that's, you know, him. And, um, I said, it's nothing that, you know, you're not in, it's not because of you. So then Skylar decides to say, well, the bedroom stinks, mom. What do you mean it stinks? Now, mind you, I have been trying really hard to figure out where this smell has been coming from in their room. So I looked at Justin and I said, I thought you cleaned your room. And he says, I did. Okay. Well, when you know, I go back in there and his room is a wreck again. I'm at a loss, people. I don't know what to do for this. Now, I, I just, I'm getting to this point. It's getting, it's frustrating. It's annoying. It's really, really annoying. Well, I snapped. And, <clears throat> well, you know, he, his first words out of my, out of his mouth to me. Now, mind you, you know, since he's turned 18, he's got, he's become very, very brave. When it comes to our little, whatever, disagreements. So I kind of, I didn't flip flip. I just kind of, even though I say I flipped out, but I didn't. I kind of just, you know, I put my foot down. And um, I just looked at him and I said, and you wonder why he doesn't want to sleep in there. And, you know, he looks at me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to fix my laptop. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. He, um, he looks at me and he says, why are you getting upset over something so dumb? Really? Dumb? Your bedroom is a mess. It smells. I can't even describe the smell. Even though we've cleaned, even though it's been cleaned. I've gone in there with air freshener, whatever, you name it, the smell won't go. I've even aired the whole entire room out, opened the window, and let it out. It just, I don't know where it's coming from. The only thing I can think of, again, is the closet. And, um, you know, he's he's been putting that off. And, uh, I, you know, I flipped out. So we had a little come to Jesus meeting <clears throat> and, um, I told him, I told all of them and I said, look, I said, I'm really, truly the only one around here that does everything and anything. And I said, you know, I'm tired of busting my butt doing all the work when 
I've taught every single one of you how to do chores. Not so much Skylar because <clears throat> I'm still trying to teach Skylar how to do that. And I asked, I had asked Skylar, you know, what kind of chore he wanted to do. And of course, you know, he came up and said he wanted to learn how to do, to clean the bathroom. Well, let me tell you the first time he did that, I think he about had a fit because he thought it was disgusting. Okay. Nine years old. Now he's ten. Okay. So, you know, I let it slide on that. And he helps with um, the uh, the dishes and with um, the garbage. So, uh, see, my nose itches. Goodness gracious. Ah. Or is it just my nose? Ah, Lord knows. Ah. That's bad when your nose in you had no problem, your nose itches and yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So anyway, Skylar Justin comes up with this excuse. Well, I do everything. Really. You do everything. Huh. Okay. That's what you think. So I just kind of looked at him like, you don't do everything. And I, I, you know, I get where he's coming from. I mean, he feels that he does everything just because, and, and I know why he feels that way, because as soon as he walks in the door, you know, there's, there's days that as soon as he comes home, I need him to take, you know, he's got to take the garbage out. And he and Skylar take the garbage out. And then, you know, every night he does the dishwasher. Or, excuse me, every night he's supposed to do the dishwasher. So I... He grew a pair. And I point blank told him, I said, I don't care if you're 18 years old or not. I said, you're my kid. You still live here. And I have, and you have rules that need to be followed. And I said, you know, you want to continue to live here, you're going to follow my rules. Well, he just looks at me like he didn't believe that I would say that. He says, well, I'm 18. I don't give a flying donkey's butt. If you're 18, 23, what? It don't matter. I said, your sister's 23 years old, and she does stuff around here. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. When you're at school, she's cleaning her ring. Or she's helping me out on the days that I can barely move my freaking legs. Because, yeah, there are days that my legs are so stiff that I walk like I'm bow-legged. Yeah, go ahead and make fun of me, y'all. It's funny. It is. Trust me. Because you used to see me walk. And, um, <clears throat> he just, I think he finally got it because I think he realized how much it bothered me. And, you know, I told him, I said, he's like, well, you baby. Skylar. No, I don't. I said, if anybody used to be babied, it was you. I said, but when you turned, when you became a teenager, um, no. I said, then when you turn 18, you wanted to treat me like crap. I said, I'm done being the doormat in this house. I said, it's, it's going to stop starting tonight and this was like last Monday and uh, you know, I don't expect the change to happen overnight trust me I really don't believe me I mean we still have our moments like um, this weekend he wanted to I can't even remember what he wanted to do now 
but he didn't do it just because. Oh, no. He has a friend. And I get it, you know. She's she's pregnant. And she's got a job. And anyway, there are days that, you know, she calls him and asks him to help. And I turned around. He didn't. This, this is what started it all, basically. And he comes out of his room. And he looks at me and he says, and I said, where are you going? He says, I'm going to go help Lizzie. Um, when are you going to do your chores? And when are you going to clean your room? Now, mind you, even though the room is clean, he still has to do, you know, the weekly cleanup, pick up the dirty laundry, blah, blah, blah. And, um, he says, uh, I will. I said, that's not answering my question, Justin. He says, I'll do it. Seriously? You'll do it? <gasps> okay. Whatever. So, we got into that, and I said, yeah, it's just awful funny that, you know, when such and such messages you to help her, you jump. And I said, but when I tell you and ask you to do something, you know, you just throw a big conniption fit. And that's what started that whole entire, you know, come to Jesus meeting that I had with the kids. And finally, we got everything resolved. And I told him, I said, you know, I don't care that you help out, you know, your friends. You have a big heart. You get that from mommy. It's no big deal. I said, but, you know, you need to realize something. You, the, the, your chores are more important. Your chores come first before you do anything. I don't care if you want to go stricken. You wait. And that's just a hypothetical because Justin doesn't do that. Justin thinks that's crazy. And yeah, I said, I don't care what you do. And, uh, I said, but your chores come first. And, um, of course, when I told him that, you know, he could go streaking for all I cared, but he had to do his chores. He looked at me, he says, mom, really? I said, it's just an example. So we got that resolved. It, it's just, you know, and I don't expect it to change overnight. I told him that I said, but I do need you to at least, you know, make some kind of an effort so he has been <clears throat> and uh, last week he helped me with uh, Sky when he came home and um, then of course you know he's been kind of <clears throat> um, fawning on me trying to make me feel better I don't feel bad I just eh. when I get a cold I just eh. I just don't I just have no energy or at least that's what it feels like but um so yeah they're kind of they did yeah I forgot what I was gonna say so yeah, he's been helping me about out with that, and then oh my god, okay. I know this is kind of you know TMI. <laughs> so Saturday, we're all sitting here, and I go to bed, and Sky, because Skylar has been sleeping out in the living room, Miranda and her boyfriend have been uh, camping out out there to keep him company so that, you know, he doesn't, on the weekend, so that, you know, he doesn't feel 
left out. And uh, <laughs> I'm laying in the bed and I'm trying to go to sleep. Okay. I know I haven't fed my children any kind of beans. I, I know. Okay. Oh, we got birds trying to get into the apartment. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what you heard if you could hear that. So I'm I'm laying up on the bed and I'm you know, I'm reading a book. All of a sudden, Miranda comes in and looks at me with this look. And I said, um, was wrong and she says Skylar and John and, and John are trying to fart me out of the living room. Huh? They were having a contest. And I just looked at I just sat there and I was like, what? They were having a contest. At least that's what I was told the next morning. And I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, really? And Scholar said, yeah, we were trying to see who could who could uh, pass gas the loudest. And which one stunk the worst. Okay. All I could hear was Skylar out there laughing. I thought, oh, Lord, here we go. And uh, I'm trying to, there we go. And I'm just like, really? And all I could do was laugh. Because it was funny. Well, then, now, this is even funnier, okay? So, usually on Saturdays, Skylar brings the Xbox out into the living room from back here. And we all, you know, spend whatever out there if, you know, I'm not busy. So, we're all sitting out there uh, Saturday morning. And, um, of course, you know, I'm not feeling the greatest in the world. And I'm trying not to even think about it. And uh, Skylar decides he wants to play Fortnite. So I stop what I'm doing because I've tried to play Fortnite. I end up dead in five minutes, if even that. Don't ask me how. I don't know. But I do. So... <clears throat> Now, mind you, I play Call of Duty. It's been a while since I did, you know, like a free-for-all or whatever. Like, that's basically what, you know, y'all know what Fortnite is. And um, so I was sitting there, and I told Skylar, I said, well, I want to try. Well, Skylar just looked at me like, what? You want to try? Um, okay. So he told his friends. So... I'm sitting there, you know, playing Skylar's character. And Skylar has his headset on, talking to his friends. And he's explaining to his friends that, you know, his mom is the one that's playing. Well, they want to talk to me. Let me tell you something. I got so lost. I didn't die right away because I was with, you know, two other people, but I got lost. Now, how the heck do you get lost in this little area that's about this size? I, I don't understand. Okay? I'm confused. And, of course, now they want to play with me. They want me to play. 
And I told Skylar, I said, well, mommy doesn't feel good. So, you know, just let them know. Well, they wanted to play. So yesterday he's on the Xbox and they're trying to play. Now, mind you, okay, they're playing. Well, Skylar explains to them that, you know, he's getting ready to play Overwatch. Well, I was watching this game. I'm sorry. I don't understand that game either. Um, that game is worse. There's more players on that game than there is Fortnite. How the heck? I'm sitting there watching him. And, you know, and it's got more stuff to it. I mean, there's, you know, there's a whole lot more to this game. Okay. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, okay. Um, son? What? What the heck is this? Of course, I've been told it's the adult version of Fortnite. Now, I don't know. Because I don't know anything about Overwatch. Never played it. I've watched them play it. Shoot, Justin plays it. But, okay. I'm confused. And, uh, it's, I'm, um, Now, mind you, like I said, I play Call of Duty. And I play, you know, I'm a Call of Duty fan. No, I'm not good at it. I don't pretend to be. Shoot, my 10-year-old son could beat me. But at least I can, you know, I know how, what to do. Wow. Well, I took one look at Overwatch, and I thought, I don't know this guy, and I said, um... He says, Mom, Fortnite's easier than this, but this is fun. And I'm thinking, uh-huh. Okay. And I just, I got to a point where I said, I, I, I can't. I, I, I can't. So I ended up um, putting my earbuds in and listening to podcasts and um, cross stitching because I, I just I got so confused but then I had to stop listening to the podcast I was listening to because I got so creeped out it, I, I was listening about John Wayne Gacy and let me tell you something I, I, I couldn't and I, Skylar was looking at me like, Mom, I was like, I, I, th you know, I'm a true crime buff, you know, I love true crime, I, you know, I love crime shows, blah, 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 and that is just one person, I can't, I can't, it, 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 it just, I, I don't understand. I mean, not that I don't, you know, not that all, you know, serial killers were understandable, but him, I just, I had to stop because it was just too weird. It, it was just the weirdest thing I've ever heard about this man. It, it just, I, I, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't, and I ended up watching or listening to something else and I even had to stop that because you know when I started when I started getting into podcasts I just started picking out true crime podcasts never listened to any of them there's only two that I really really like and actually three um, true crime all the time true the crime all the time unsolved um, excuse me for 2020 and it's a Canadian, what is it called? 
it's a Canadian true crime thing. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I just, I just couldn't. And I said, I, I can't. And I started listening to 2020. And I was just like, I, I, it took me a while to get past what I was listening to about um, John Wayne Gacy. Because I, I was just like, and it wasn't that, you know, I was, it didn't make me sick to my stomach. It was just weird. I mean, I get it, you know. I, I, these people aren't right in the head, I guess. But it, it just, it, it was just weird. And I just couldn't. And I was like, I'm going to. So then I ended up turning that off and, um, <clears throat> Watching Sky play, um, actually watching Miranda play her video game that she got for her birthday last year. And, oh my god. And of course, Skylar kept, like, you know, trying to explain Overwatch to me. And I'm, I just looked at him and was like, dude, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. He's like, well, why don't you learn how to play? Mm -mm. No. Sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -mm. So that... It's been an interesting week, I'm going to tell you. Because I... Mm, and I, that, that, that's basically what I did all day yesterday was play catch up on my stitch. I did a stitching marathon, play catch up on, you know, my podcasts and my best friend took my laundry because our washing machines are broke. I, I give up. I really do. I just, I, I don't, mm. and I think it's time for me to start looking for somewhere else, especially, um, somewhere that either has washer and dryer in the apartment or whatever or working washer and dryers it's annoying because every time I turn around it seems like our washer and dryers here break and if one washing machine breaks down they unplug the both of them because we have two washing machines in the wa laundry room. Two washing machines and two dryers. If one washing machine breaks down, they unplug them. Lord knows when they're going to get fixed. And I've been going back and forth to the laundromat, and that's getting old. Because of the laundromat, yeah, you know, granted, it's not that far away, it's just around the corner. But it's still, it's a pain in the butt. And so I'm seriously considering, you know, looking around for um, something, something better. But still goes, you know, by my income because I live in income based housing. So, yeah, that's what we're, I've been thinking about doing. So, we'll see. Lord only knows what will happen because I'm just tired of. the dumbness I guess around here because it is annoying after a while but anyway so let's see I'm trying to think of anything else that's been going on because you know me I forget easy um hmm I forget easy I'm trying to think 
I feel like there's something else and I'm forgetting it. Oh my goodness. Um I think that's it. Wait a minute. Let's see. Camera on my mobile. Oh, Scholar's Progress Report. You guys, Progress Report. I knew there was something I forgot. Hmm. Scholar got all A's and, um, let's see, he got, he got A's. He's having a hard time this marking term. Part of it is because of his math. And then the other part is his writing and he had to do an essay well a couple weeks ago I'm not sure I remember if I you know said this in one of my a couple weeks ago on the in my drill with me or not I can't remember anyway um, I wasn't like it was last week so no it was two weeks ago. Excuse me. Okay. Now, I didn't know about this essay, I guess, contest. And, of course, you know, he came home upset. Well, I didn't hear anything else about it after that. And I thought, okay, you know, he's okay, you know what have you. So he gives me his progress report on Friday. And um I just look at him and I said, um, have you looked at this? Yes. Okay. Um what's wrong? You know, and I, of course, you know, I'm assuming of course I didn't read the comments because most of the time she doesn't leave any kind of comment. She always puts, you know, something really, you know, good about Sky. Sorry guys, coffee. <sighs> not sorry. I'm not fully awake. So I I look at him and I'm thinking, okay. And I said, um <clears throat> Why are you rushing? What are you talking about? I said, Skylar, you've been rushing your work and writing. And apparently, you rushed your essay so much that you had to do it over? I said, is that why you were upset? Yes. Okay. And um, I said, uh, why were you rushing? I don't know. Okay, well, son, you need to take your time. You don't need to rush to, you know, um, you don't need to rush to get it done. You have plenty of time to get it done. Anna, uh, well, I found out why he rushed it. After, you know, I explained to him and I, you know, he said that he would try harder. He comes back like five minutes later with a little card, like a little note card, you know, like a little thank you note thing. And, um, he says, mommy, what's the way? He says, Mrs. G gave this to me. I said, okay. So I read it. And I was like, did you do your essay about your about me? Yes. And I said, well, what was it about? He says, how special you are. Don't you know I was almost in tears? He made me smile. I could have cried. I said, do you really feel that way about mommy? Yes. I said, is that why you were so upset about your essay? Yes. 
I said, but why did you rush it? Because I wanted her to read it. Oh. So yeah, I felt kind of special. Because <laughs> I was just, I was shocked. And I was like, well, am I going to get to read it after, you know, this, whatever. I guess they, they're having some kind of contest at school, I, I'm assuming. Competition, something. And um, he says, I don't know. And I said, well, if you, you know, can bring it home. I said, are you going to let mommy read it? I guess. I said, okay. So, yeah, he's... I think he felt really good about that, which I was kind of shocked when he told me, you know, I, I was, and I, and it wasn't shocked as in shock, like, you know, I, I was shocked in a good way, because I was like, gosh, I'm being told all sorts of things. First, Justin tells me the reason why he wanted, wanted to, at the time, to go in the military was because he wanted to take care of me. Then Skylar tells me, you're special, Mommy. I'm going to cry. It just made me feel really good. <clears throat> and I know, you know, I, I, I was just like, wow. I know. All right, Jennifer, we'll stop. I'll stop. It just made me feel good. Sorry, guys. So, that was, you know, my highlight of the weekend. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. What else? I've been thinking, um, I don't know yet if I'm going to do this. But... <sighs> I'm going to, I'm going to wait a couple weeks, actually, I'm going to wait, yeah, I'm going to wait a couple weeks and see what happens, but, um, I've been having too many problems with my internet kicking me off, especially when I'm going live, and it gets annoying. So, I am looking for, I'm researching some solutions. I'm going to be making some phone calls today. If not, then if I can't, if I can't reach a solution, then I'll be making a schedule change on my channel. Um, as it stands now, I'm still going to stay on Sundays. So, you know, you guys keep your fingers crossed for me on Sundays that the internet doesn't kick out. I don't want to change my day because I happen to like, you know, going on Sundays because, you know, do I wish I had more people come in? Sure. But you know what? I, it doesn't matter. I have the 13, 15, 16, 17 people that I know come in every week. I would appreciate that more people will come in, you know, that those people would talk all the time. So at least I know that, you know, you're interested, it, you know, but, you know, that's just me. That's, you know, every, probably every creator's wish, you know, but that's just how I am. But, um, <clears throat> I, um, like I said, I'm going to do some research and see what I can come up with because, um, And if I can't come up with anything, then, you know, I'll let you guys know. Right now, I'm just kind of sticking to the normal schedule because it's, I don't want to screw anything up. And I don't want to go live on some other day and step on somebody else's toes until, you know, I can figure out what's going on with my internet. I can't even do stream labs because it messes up so bad. And I miss doing that using Streamlabs on Sundays, but, you know, it is what it is, and it's no big deal. So I'm just going to, 
you know, explore and see what my other options are because my Wi-Fi is, don't get me wrong, I love my Wi-Fi and I love it for the price I pay, but it's, it's annoying when you can't, when it kicks you off, especially when it's bad weather. Like yesterday, the wind was blowing its butt off. And I got kicked off like three times. So, but, you know, I'm going to try to come up with some other options and see what happens then. And I will let you guys know. So, but that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and listening and listen to me run my mouth about, you know, my crazy life in my house. <laughs> it's not that crazy. It's because sometimes it can be boring. So until next week, guys, I will see you all. And I hope you have a great week and have a good day.